what's up? This is Jordan Wagner here with MirrorGuitar.com and I'm here today with the new Squire Vintage Modified Jaguar Basses. And we have two models here. One is a standard long scale and we have this pretty nifty short scale bass right here. Now the standard model here, the long scale model, um, has a 34 inch scale length and the body is made out of Agathis. Uh, it houses two Duncan Design pickups, the bridge one, a hot jazz model, uh, it's powered by a ceramic magnet and the P-Base pickups, uh, Alnico 5 magnets. Now the controls for each pickup are dual controls. Um, top ones are volume and the bottom ones are tone. And the tone ones have different positions that they can be set to. They kind of click into place. Uh, I would have liked to have had the ability to choose whichever position I wanted, but the positions that were selected here by Fender um, actually offered some pretty nice tones in and of itself. So the neck on this bass is pretty cool too. Uh, the headstock here has a capped black matching paint job to the body. Um, open gear tuners and rosewood fingerboard on a maple neck with this pretty cool 70s Fender jazz bass uh, block inlay styling. So now I'm going to demonstrate some tones out of the vintage modified Jaguar standard bass. I have both the bridge and the middle pickup volumes up at about 75% and a little bit of the high end rolled off on the bridge pickup. I'm going to play it through a TC Electronics RH750 head through a matching 2x12 cabinet. So here we have the vintage modified Jaguar short scale bass in this pretty well applied silver finish here. Um, has the same type of Agathis body construction as the uh, longer scale model. Instead of having Duncan design pickups, it has two standard Squire pickups, one a J bass style and one a P bass style. Two volume controls, a master tone control, and the neck has a 30 inch scale length, which makes it feel a lot more comfortable and loose and the headstock has a matching black cap on it. Now the short scale bass kind of gets a bad rap. Um, it has a reputation for being a beginner's instrument, which is what it was originally marketed for, but it doesn't have to be. A lot of professional bass bassists and guitarists throughout several decades have gravitated towards the short scale bass for its really unique tone, which has usually a fatter low end than a standard long scale bass, but less high end. It's more of like a, uh, more subdued tone with a lot more lows to it. The one criticism I have about this bass are its relatively weak pickups. Um, I mean, I'll be frank, it's a pretty killer bass for $170 street price, um, but the pickups are a little bit lacking. If you're in the market for an inexpensive bass or this one in particular, I would highly recommend looking at replacement pickups, although these do get the job done. So I'm going to demonstrate some of the tones you can get from them right now. So there you have it, that's the new Squire Vintage Modified Jaguar Bass Standard and Jaguar Special SS Short Scale. Street price on the standard is $299 and on the short scale is $169 and you can read my full review online as a July web exclusive at PremierGuitar.com. So this is Jordan Wagner and thank you for watching.